I want you to think about some times in your life where you have quit something that you were sure that you were set on doing for the rest of your life. What happened? Today we're going to talk about what happened. We get excited about starting something new. We're so excited, we tell everyone about it. We start planning and getting ready to go. And all of a sudden, we quit. Why do we really quit? Often when we start something new, there is a very steep learning curve ahead of us. So get prepared because what actually leads us to quitting is not that steep learning curve and it's not the tinge of doubt that we have about ourselves when we embark on a new goal or journey. Uh, it's not even really that tinge of laziness, laziness that sometimes comes up when we start something new. It always stems back to that inability to bounce back from that tinge of laziness, to bounce back from that that little ounce of doubt that sometimes creeps into our mind when we have a very steep learning curve ahead of us. And that is normal. And before, years ago, I would let that little ounce of laziness or doubt spiral and snowball into essentially me giving up. And the only thing stopping you from continuing on your journey, continuing and not quitting on something, is not letting it snowball. Right? So don't be hard on yourself if you do have that ounce of laziness, if you do have that ounce of doubt. It's very normal. When it becomes too overwhelming, there are two reactions. There's fight, fight or flight. Right. So typically, if we feel overwhelmed and we feel like we're going to go into a battle that we surely cannot win, and when our laziness and doubt have, have overwhelmed us, that's when we fly away. When we stop talking about it, we stop getting excited about it, we stop sharing it with friends. And anyone that has gone through a journey of growth that has led to some level of success knows that there is a roller coaster, knows that there's going to be ups and downs. So when you head into an, a task, when you head into something and you're faced with that ounce of doubt, that ounce of laziness in the back of your head, be prepared and know that there are going to be lows. There are going to be moments where you're going to want to quit and you have to fight through. What can you do if you feel like quitting? Well, don't overwhelm yourself. Take a break when you need to. Shake things up. Change environments. Get new ideas from different people, start talking to people and brainstorming and remembering why you got excited in the first place about it. And finally, find innovative ways, find different tools to help you along your journey because tools make things easier for you and that allows you to be more creative, to work harder and smarter and to prevent yourself from quitting when you feel that ounce of doubt creep in, that, that little bit of laziness creep in. My name is Riaz Sidi. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Oh yeah, and stay positive.